non-existent is not. Period. That is all we can say of it. Say anything else and it is existent. It is a purely negative non-concept. Forget everything you know and that you ever knew anything, and that is almost nothing. It is not whatever you think it is, always. The Tibetans call it the not that. Is it that? Not that. How about this other thing? Not that. Th that. Also strongly akin to the Japanese Zen concept of Mu, neither yes nor no, nor non-yes nor non-no. Another point. Another point. Another point. Sometimes it helps me, intellectually, to use the term void instead of nothing. That helps remove some mathematical reflexes that can be unhelpful and gives a more sense of the pregnant and vast nature of the non-existent no nothing. Next point. Our very nervous systems and computers operate in binary, essentially nothing slash nothing. something. The essentially in that sentence is paramount, and the fact that you noticed it and mentioned it makes me think that we're catching wind of each other's gusts right about... Actually, even binary is three-valued. There is yes, there is no, and there is... That question was never asked, makes no sense, assumes the inactual, aka there is no answer. We just don't store or acknowledge the state of the third value because it is the answer to the impossible question that no one will ever ask. What the fuck? What does that mean? The answer isn't zero. Zero would dignify the question's nonsensical assumptions. The non-answer is nothing. Nothing is not zero. Nothing is. The machine that measures zeros and ones is not turned on right now. Please try again later. Nothing is not zero. Nothing is null, mathematically. Null, programmatically. Null, file systems and hierarchical organizations. I have waxed poetic, but nothing is not prosaic. Its primacy lets it dodge all category by definition.